Dear students, in this lecture, I am going to explain about shape memory alloys. As the name indicates, the shape it will be there in its memory. It can regain its shape and size by a small temperature change. For example, uh, there is a needle which is made up of uh, shape uh, memory alloy. Uh, if you want to insert medicine into the vein, that needle has to be soft enough so that it can bend and pierce into the vein. After piercing into the vein, if it is so soft, it will break and get into our vein. So after inserting into the vein, it should become uh, hard so that it will not break easily. In shape memory alloy, it is a kind of material which will be soft at uh, low temperatures and become harder at high temperature. So before piercing into the vein at room temperature, it will be soft. After piercing into the vein, it becomes harder and uh, it can inject, uh, the medicine can be easily injected. And if you remove from the vein again back to the room temperature, it will uh, become soft again like that. There will be a transformation of shape and size due to a small change in temperature. So this is an example for shape memory alloy. Now we can see what is the basic definition of a shape memory alloy. A shape memory alloys are the alloys which change its original shape to new shape by applying stress and regain its original shape by a small change in temperature. Uh, here I denoted as stress because Either the stress can be a thermal stress or even it can be a mechanical stress. By applying a mechanical stress also it can change its shape and the regaining, regain it in its shape and size can obtained by applying heat alone. For example, here the deformation occurs and uh, this deformation occurs either it can be by change in temperature or it can be by applying some mechanical uh, stress. And if you simply heat it, it can go to the uh, this particular uh, the same uh, state where it exists that can be obtained by heating. Sometimes it can uh, even occur by cooling. So depend on that it is of two types. We see the types in uh, next slide. So this is the shape memory alloy. Okay, shape memory alloy means it can change its uh, shape and size due to certain uh, stress, either it can be mechanical or thermal and it can regain its shape and size by change in, uh, uh, change in temperature, either suitably it can be heating or it can be a cooling effect. The range of temperature at which the SMA switches from uh, new shape to its original shape is the transformation uh, temperature. Okay. So in that sense, uh, this is the transformation temperature or it is also called as memory transfer temperature. And here you can clearly see that uh, this change will not occur at a very short temperature rather it takes a range of temperature but the range of temperature it won't be a very high uh, degree of uh, temperatures the change in temperature may be uh, around 10 degrees Celsius or 20 degrees Celsius so like that so very small temperature change but still it takes uh, it doesn't occur at a short temperature rather it occurs over a range of temperature. So there are two different phase in uh, shape memory alloy. One is the martensite, the other one is the austenite. The martensite it is also called as the soft uh, uh, phase. Okay. So the martensite, uh, martensite it is the interstitial super solution of carbon in alpha n and it crystallizes into twin structure. So this name martensite given after uh, the super solution of carbon in uh, alpha ion is uh, said as martensite and uh, that name is given to the shape memory alloys whichever possess that shape because generally the shape memory alloy will be soft in uh, uh, at low temperature phase at low temperature phase we call that as martensite because it is particularly soft and uh, generally it uh, takes this martensite kind of structure so where martensite it is an interstitial super solution of carbon in alpha ion and this very similarly the austenite phase the austenite phase uh, uh, is a solid solution of carbon and other alloying elements in alpha ion so this is also a phase which is in alpha ion and uh, this phase is uh, the high, hard phase 
or it is the high temperature phase. It is the hot phase or the high temperature phase. The straight memory alloy uh, at austenite phase, it will be so hard and uh, this occurs generally at high temperatures. So there are two phases. So we can say that so low temperature phase is martensite phase or it is the soft phase. High temperature phase is the austenite phase or it is the hot phase. And generally the transformation will be from martensite to austenite and austenite to martensite. So due to heating, it go to the austenite phase. From due to cooling, it go to the martensite phase. So one way shape memory alloy and a two way shape memory alloy. There are two different types of shape memory alloy. We can say one way when the memory is with the austenite phase, which means the transformation of the desired shape or the original shape occurs only by heating. Okay, so the transformation from the to the original shape can occur only due to the heating. We can say that it is the one way shape memory alloy. So suppose the deformed shape remembered during cooling in addition to the original shape being remembered during heating. In that sense, if the original shape can exist with the austenite phase as well as the martensitic phase, which means by applying some stress, it, uh, there is a change in phase. From that, it can uh, go to the original shape either by cooling or heating. So for example, here we can see it is heated. Uh, by heating, it can go back to the original state or by cooling, it can go back to the original state. We can say that it is the two-way shape memory alloy where the we can uh, say that it is with austenite phase as well as the martensitic phase. The memory is with austenite and martensitic. If the memory is with austenitic phase alone, it is one-way shape memory alloy. The shape memory effect. So these are the properties of shape memory alloy. And the uh, first uh, defining property is shape memory effect. So it clearly shows that at low temperature, the SME will be in martensite and at high temperature it will be in uh, austenite and it make a uh, change in uh, shape with respect to change in temperature. For example, here it is in twin martensite phase. So even the phase transition can occur due to load by applying load. Uh, so if you draw a, a, a graph between load and temperature, you can see here by applying load, the twin to modern side can go to the deformed modern side and uh, due to heating from deformed modern side it can go to the austenite. From austenite by cooling it can go to the modern side, come back to the twin to modern side. So like that. So if you see the microscopic view, either it can be in a twin to modern side phase or deformed modern side phase or austenitic phase by applying the load or change in temperature. So here, so this uh, change in uh, shape memory effect is nothing but it is the change in phase occur due to change in temperature, small change in temperature. The next property is pseudo elasticity or super elasticity. As I told, the change in phase can occur due to load also, not only due to the temperature. Suppose if there is, if the shape memory alloy exists in a phase uh, in an in austenitic phase, for example, so here the it denotes uh, MF denotes uh, it is the martensitic finish, MS denotes martensitic start, AS denotes austenitic start, AF uh, A suffix F denotes austenitic finish, and uh, if you are, uh, if the temperature is beyond this, which means that it is in austenitic phase. So let us consider uh, a material is beyond this particular temperature, and if you are increasing the load. Okay, you can see here in y axis is load. So if you increase the load from austenite, it can go to the martensitic phase. See here, this uh, by increasing the load, simply by increasing the load, it can go to the martensitic phase. And from martensitic phase, it again come back to the austenitic phase simply by removing the load. So by applying the load, it make it phase transition by removing the load it come back to the original phase time uh, original phase what it exists earlier so this is the uh, this we call that as uh, pseudo elasticity or super elasticity where the change in phase occur without change in temperature but uh, the previous case uh, the shape memory effect is due to the change in temperature the uh, change in phase occurs but here the change in phase occurs at a constant temperature simply by changing the load and the next property exhibited by is uh, shape memory alloy is hysteresis shape memory hysteresis 
So for uh, SMA, during the cooling process, a martensite starts and uh, martensite ends at a particular temperature and during heating process, it starts and ends at a, a different uh, curve. For example, here, you can see here, so during heating, uh, it is in martensitic state here. You can see here, yeah, ME stands for martensitic ends. So at this particular, from this point, it make a transition to arsenide phase somewhere here and it doesn't go the same uh, cooling curve or same curve uh, during cooling. So this is the heating curve and this heating curve cooling curve will not doesn't match. Uh, while uh, cooling, what happens it takes a different uh, range of temperature. It occurs due to uh, uh, with a different range of temperature. So in that sense, uh, this uh, property we call that is hysteresis. And uh, the what is the f difference between the temperature at uh, 50 percentage transformation du during heating and 50 percentage transformation during cooling? Uh, that temperature difference we call that as hysteresis. So the uh, applications, if you see the applications of uh, shape memory alloy, it can be used as uh, used for eye glass frames, toys, helicopter blades, blood clot filters uh, to prevent fire, toxic gases, coffee makers, cryofit hydraulic couplings. So like that, uh, several applications. So it's mainly due to its uh, change in uh, phase due to the change in uh, temperature. For example, eye glass frames. Uh, if uh, initially it should be soft after wearing to the to uh, the spectacle after wearing the, the specs uh, then it uh, it should hold tightly to the uh, when how it hold tightly is due to the change in body temperature so it can make it hard and it can uh, held uh, held it tightly and uh, toys there are certain uh, uh, toys but uh, butterflies for example butterflies. Our snakes can be made up of uh, shape memory alloy where inside the which there will be a um, battery fitted and it sends an electrical pulse that electrical pulse will uh, uh, create some heat energy which uh, make the uh, which, which make there is a change in phase and it becomes uh, soft to hard hard to soft simultaneously so what happens is uh, uh, due to the change in shape it changes its uh, size also it looks like the butterfly is, uh, it will uh, flap its wings and even the snakes look like it's moving, so etc. Like that, uh, uh, the, the toys can be uh, made up of uh, the shape memory alloys. And uh, shape memory alloys can be used as helicopter uh, blades, especially it is lightweight. Okay, so it is, uh, and it, it possesses a very good corrosion resistance. And uh, also, uh, the with respect to uh, temperature, right? For example, um, uh, if if you go to some uh, hot climate or cold climate, then uh, if there is any change in temperature, then uh, it can uh, maintain. So 